let's do a quick analysis of paper 2 for geography option this time under the paper 2 the map locations were relatively easy a lot of them were based on the current topics which were in news now coming on to the questions which were asked for your paper 2 as we mentioned flash floods was an extremely important topic recent flash floods in bangalore and other parts of india uh, in pakistan became a major important topic and as we had mentioned in our class on expected questions flash floods was a question extremely important uh, as we already discussed in paper one uh, the problem of overcrowding and shortage of housing related to that is the rising problem of slums and the covid problem in the slums especially the bombay slum so on uh, this is where there were uh, there were contemporary questions pollution dome was a question in paper one related to it was another question in paper two which talked about particulate pollution in delhi ncr and how to mitigate that uh, there were questions related to forest rights uh, questions on the new airports on the western coast of india uh, water disputes Kala, uh, Kalapani dispute on Indo-Nepal border and Quad summit significance of Quad in the Indo-Pacific area. Now, as you can see, these were the questions which were based on contemporary information, right? So, uh, nearly 50% of the paper was based on contemporary information. Specifically, in case of paper two, we could see that a very less proportion of questions were from the core geography of India. Uh, even the questions from the core geography of India were not what con things conventionally do you read right there were questions related to water disputes in northwest india again which is which involves an element of contemporary information groundwater contaminations gray zones dark zones again uh, there is a lot of contemporary happenings arsenic pollution is again an important topic that you have to mention here uh, unpredictability in southwest monsoon now when you are reading conventional books you are talking about southwest monsoon but the unpredictable behavior of southwest monsoon in the recent years is one of the things that we have covered in our recent editions on down to earth analysis desertification the expansion of desertification the lowering of the aravli ranges and the passes which are created which lead to expansion of the uh, thar desert from the western to the eastern side dryland farming and why this should be an good alternative in light of the rising food insecurity in india food insecurity due to climate change was one of the questions in paper one related to it is the concept of dryland farming again in important topic urban sprawl extremely important topic again related to the concept of overcrowding slums uh, increasing population in metropolitan uh, special economic zones and its applications food security again in light of food insecurity and climate change the importance of food security becomes important we had discussed this ex with exceptional importance in our expected classes so uh, national food security act 2013 was one of the questions which was highly expected and extremely important for your examination food insecurity challenges related to agriculture climate change are again extremely important for your 2023 examination as well uh, now the expected topics along with the complete course have been discussed in our video uh, tutorials the link for which are available in the description below wish you very good luck if you have any questions or any uh, doubts feel free to raise those in the comment section i'll be more than happy to reply those personally thanks a lot for joining